Hi, I'm Miss Galata and welcome back to Library Lessons. Did you know that there are multiple sections of the library? There aren't just picture books and fiction books. There are actually 14 different sections. Now I know what you're thinking. How do we possibly organize and keep track of so many different sections? That's where the Dewey Decimal System comes in, but we're not going to worry about that quite yet. Instead, we're going to talk about the three main parts of the library. Actually, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, let's have my Irish friend Aoife help us out. Aoife? I'd be happy to help out some fellow readers. Hi, I'm Aoife and I'm from Ireland. Have you ever been? It's an island right across the sea from the States. Let's zoom in. A wee more. More? There she is. And do you see that spot called Dublin? That's where I met Miss Galata when we lived there for school. It's a beautiful place with a lot to see. And if you've never been, this video will help you find books in the library to tell you more about it. But first, let's head over to our most popular section. This is the E section. Now notice how every book starts with an E and then the first three letters of the author's name. That's so it can be organized alphabetically. So if we had a book by Harker and Dee Dee, which one would come first? The D or the H? The D, right, because it comes first in the alphabet. Now, E stands for easy or everybody. And let me tell you, I love a good picture book. Uh, Aoife? We're on a schedule. Oh, right. Let's roll on over to the next section. This section is non-fiction. Aoife, that means that it's definition time. Why don't you tell us what non-fiction means? Righto. Non-fiction is writing that is based on facts, real people, real places, and real events. Now, say it with me, in whichever accent you want. Non-fiction is writing that is based on facts, real people, real places, and real events. There are loads of grand books you could find in the non-fiction section, from dogs to space to language. Speaking of language, let me show you some words we use in Ireland. Instead of how's it going, we say what's the story. Instead of thank you so much, we say thanks a mil or thanks a million. And we do not say top of the morning. That's for leprechauns. Let's move on. Now on to my favorite part of the nonfiction section. The 900s. These are where every book is a number within 900. For example, this one's 941.1. And it's about Ireland. Miss Galata, look! What a cool find. In fact, I actually have a friend in Ireland right now. We went to school together in Dublin, and she's going to show you around a little bit. Sadie? Hey, Miss Galata. Thanks for having me on Library Lessons, and hi everyone, my name is Sadie. I live here in Dublin, and today I'm super excited to get the chance to show you around my city. So let's go! For the first stop on our walk, I'm taking you to a place that's very special to me. This is Thomas Street, where Miss Galata and I both lived when we studied abroad in Ireland. This is where we met and where we became really great friends. Next stop on our tour is Christ Church Cathedral. This church is nearly 1,000 years old and was originally owned by Vikings. Next is Grafton Street, a pedestrianized street in the heart of Dublin. And in non-COVID times, this street is usually packed with people and there is always someone playing live music. Right at the end of Grafton Street is one of my absolute favorite places in the entire city. This is St. Stephen's Green Park. It's a beautiful park located right in the center of Dublin and is an awesome place to get a break from the hustle and bustle of the city center. It's a bit chilly today, but on beautiful sunny days, this park is absolutely packed with people. We don't get too much sun here in Ireland, so when it is shining, we are sure to make the most of it. Here we have the River Liffey, Liffey meaning life in Irish. The river in total is 78 miles and it separates the north and south side of the city. Today there are 21 bridges connecting the two sides of the city. One of my favorite of these bridges is the Haypenny Bridge. This bridge is over 200 years old and was built in May of 1816. It's 141 feet long and 12 feet wide, and it's estimated that roughly 30,000 people cross this bridge every single day. 
I live on the north side of the city, so it looks like it's time for me to cross the bridge and head home. So those are just a few of my favorite spots here in Dublin, but there are so many more all across Ireland. So if you are interested, make sure to check out the 900 section in your library. Thank you for coming on my walk with me today, and I hope you had as much fun as I did. Wow, isn't Dublin so cool? There are so many things to see just in that one city. But for now, let's get back to Aoife. Welcome to the largest section of the library, the fiction section. Like I said, this is the fiction section. <laughs> that means it's definition time. We've gone over non-fiction, now let's go over fiction. Fiction is writing that describes imaginary events and people. Say it with me. Fiction is writing that describes imaginary events and people. We have fiction books from A to Z. Do you remember how they're categorized? Right, alphabetically. That means all the A's are over there and all the Z's are over there. But there are so many books over here, from spooky to heartwarming to funny to mystery. There has to be a book for you. And I believe everyone has at least one book that they'll love. One of my favorite books, The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. That's a mouthful. That's all for me and it's been grand chatting with you. Just remember, even though this library might be set up a little bit different than others, it still has the same sections of fiction, non-fiction, and easy readers. So wherever you go, you'll know where to find your books. And if you saw a book in today's video that you want to check out, let Miss Galotta or an adult know and they'll get it checked out for you. I'm Aoife, thanks for having me. Thanks Aoife, that was great information, right? I've also included in the description a link to a shelving game that will help you shelve books in order and get you practicing for in the library time. I'm Miss Galata, and thanks for joining me on this episode of Library Lessons.